and even cracked duelist players are having their yeah, debut on a yeah, professional team duelist usually too. just plays like a smoke or something like that but this time a lot of pressure on the shoulders of demon can he perform as now icebox has started with 100 thieves on the attack lots of pressure down towards the tube and it's jogimo cascade after cascade pushing them back and it works out for a bit they get eg pulled over to that left side of the map they will decide to re-hit, but they're going to allow, or they're going to have focus in Kitchen now. So maybe they've cut the numbers in sight. Wall goes up. This is going to be a full take onto the B, and EG have not shown themselves yet. So it leaves 100 Thieves a little bit wondering as they start the plan. Big delay, so we have to plan in a different position. Bustio still gets the pick onto Asta. Better for 100 Thieves. They at least get the right, plant team. down, allowing for the pulse plant to be played. But a high tide also came out from Jogimo, allowing EG to slowly creep up back into the site. Nobody watching flank, nobody needed. All of the defenders are currently moving into the B site from the back of the site. And it's going to be Demon 1 getting the first kill from the BCTs on a professional team. And it's also all of EG getting a flawless into the round. 100 Thieves had no utility to use there at the end. It was no Viper Bites to be used. That spike plant was pretty easily defendable by the side of EG, and they came in flying. Nicely done. It just took the teamwork. A little bit of overlaid util here. We see this first kill not letting Asuna out, which is actually pretty big. Everybody was trying to outside cover that. And this orb, I think, big play there just to deny a lot of that focus and allow EG to work in and out of the orb, giving themselves an extra bit or three or four angles to work off of. Take out 100 Thieves. All towards mid, seeing if they might be able to find a push on one poor soul, but nobody enters that area. Just the cascade moving forward. Sonar forward. They still take it layer by layer. Right there. Jogamo gives up his step. I think we're gonna have a real all oh, detected. Exactly, it pinged out towards screens anyways to have Ethan ready to move up. Smoke coming out from Fryo. Yep. Wooden gets pushed. Okay, but bodies are still falling for EG. They Wall up for split to B. They've been mid the whole time. They're looking for a fight. It's like, when will you give it to us? Come on. And they actually pulled one out there, taking down two overall. So really great little back and forth push and pull on mid for 100 Thieves to start. I think we see EG play much safer for the remainder of this one. So the wall to indicate some sort of fast push towards orange was still being watched here by Calm. And he didn't spot anybody, so... Spread out all across the map are EG, jump spawning, trying to find information. Left. Finally, it's engaged towards the B side, oh, a recon off. to initiate for 100 Thieves. A plant, a delay, a spray. The plant still comes in. Just ate enough of that molly. Gets out alive. Fight towards kitchen, that's about to happen. Ooh, and that's bang. bang, pushing forward, catching Demon off the rotation. Meanwhile though, Calm Poison and Ethan off. having strong Player weapons, off. but the Marshal seems to be stronger. Ethan having a clutch now. Three left to take down. A flank about to come in from B main. Ethan. At least gets one. And on his two versus one, reloads away. Snakefight on the ground knows that it's coming from spawn. Tapping onto the spike, trying to find Asuna. As Asuna's just running that clock down, forcing the footsteps, forcing the audio cues to come out. And that's going to be it. Ethan manages to get that. But the spike still goes off. And 100 Thieves. Win on a thrifty. The thrifty round. The mid play was so good. And I thought EG had it covered. Even the way that Ethan used his guiding light. When they threw it around mid, it did not go deep. It only initiated that somebody was on boiler. You saw the direct hit with Trailblazer after. But when that guiding light did detect mid, that's when the other peak came out, right? That's when Stellar got the frag on whoever peaked underneath the tube. There was just way too much antsiness off of the util that was supposed to be for certain situations there. I think EG kind of um, yeah. gave themselves a false sense of security with those detects and moving forward when it only needed to be a simple play. Plagues them for a moment, a thrifty there. We've seen so many this weekend. His teams just Everybody seem can. to draw these rounds out. Uh-oh. Yeah. Nothing he's <laughs> going to be able to do here. Calm down on that one as he gets pushed out. And again... 100 Thieves start off with a quick kill on the round, giving themselves the advantage. With the turret being picked off, 
all 100 feet are rotating back from the B site onto A just to support the spike carrier who's currently there, dinked by Ethan. Continues to push forward, gets a second ding, but no kills. That's so unlucky for him. It's up to Demon. He's gonna have to learn real quick. It's not a red game, got caught earlier on in a rotation, and this time only with the Sheriff of the five versus one. Low HP. Spike drop. Stellar alt. Just wants to land a couple of shots here to build that confidence up. Potentially was looking for a head to head against Bang one more time. Mm -hmm. All these plays, too, it seems like Demon has been the anchor on the site, right? As yes. EG moves in, we see the four core of the squad we've seen mostly on the team uh, playing through to the site. And only caught off once here, so Demon makes that rotation a little later. Obviously, here, the round's just kind of winding down. But made sure to stay safer. Didn't want to go down this time in the rotation. Oh, that last shot right over the head of Derek. Demon does go down, uh, as should. Get that money for the next round coming in. And this buy, I feel like it needs to be important for for EG here. They're working against quite a lot. I think 100 Thieves may even try to kind of focus out Demon if they find there's a certain way, not even Demon's play style, but a certain way EG are playing with Demon, right? That they can know there'll be four, not a full five, or there won't be a jet dashing in to gain with that chaos when you retake a site. It really starts to allow 100 Thieves options. Wall towards A for the first time here. Let's see what they work on. Belt and going into the site. A push. They do have a bit of cover here. Ethan and Demon are going to take pipes. Definitely an important buy. EG bottle way down to zero. 100 Thieves' economy is actually quite high. Yeah, that's a big point. Flash Trailblazer. Keeping 100 Thieves back towards the A tower. Towards the A nest. Starters looking for a position for the lockdown, potentially. Whoa! There's a the play. A flash from Demon to peek out and dashes away as it gets the opener there onto Cryo. So that forces out a much earlier lockdown and anticipated 400 Thieves. Not committed into it yet. Look at him. Just stay inside of it, dashing away, gets the team, but at least his teammates are what? there. Now even a cove to protect him. 100 Thieves are now trying to move into the site. It's a four versus two. Bang. Demon looking to answer back onto a third into this round. It's now Bang. Oh, looking for the transfer. And he's going to get it. Yeah. The Red Bull Clutch of 4K into the round. The cracked aimers are both stepping up to the plate for both teams. Bang, bang. Takes that round down. Makes it look easy. Sorting out each individual frag. And even after Demon had a hell of a round to start off here, we wondered, would he push himself to the max? But no. Nah. Even if you do, Bang is going to be there to end. Woo! Oh, Sellers feeling it. Bang. I mean, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. The shot going up, back down, getting the pick into the transfer. Oh, my God. This is looking good. Once again, Demon with the first blood. See where they go from this. Obviously, 100 Thieves feeling very good there. You see EG switching it up, trying to play around each other, trying to play around Demon a little bit more now. They're giving him a buddy system to be moving with. Now towards mid, Blade Storm out, and that is a cause for pause on the side of 100 Thieves, but it will not stop them from moving forward eventually. Flank watch now by Stellar as Cryo is down for this, so no extra smokes, just the wall to get in here. And that's the first turret. Well, the only turret, rather, from Bucio that gets spawned, so that throws an immediate molly towards the ground and Nana Swarm to prevent any type of early pushes. Punisher coming out on the attack does get the connection and the kill onto Com. Retake wall, or retake utility, wall's already at A. Down for the side of EG now. So the 4v4 levels it out, wall goes up, quick plant goes down. Flash here once again for Demon to come out. Daggers in, headshot onto Derek. And Peng once again still there. Two versus two though. Ethan. Went very much stronger for the One attack. A flank air, a alert from Stellar, a transfer <laughs> onto Ethan. Is this a bet? Wow. Didn't talk much about Stellar. Well, we did a bit last game, but coming out five kills, first kill, zero first deaths. IGL position as well. Honestly, it's you don't see that very often, right? You get a few.
here and there it just takes a lot of mental power to be able to igl get all the info recall call and response to the team and still frag but you see stellar doing it picking up that round and it will call for the pause and now on evil genius's side we saw how much powder was just devastated all of us were kind of breath taken away by that last play Sometimes that happens and you see how the next few rounds go, but it does look like 100 Thieves are just reading Evil Geniuses, hitting the right plays, and figuring out how EG wants to defend here. Still a very good timeout to start things off very early into this game. Yes, maybe 100 Thieves mm -hmm. didn't show too much of their hand, but Evil Geniuses have been doing a pretty good job getting first blood on the last two rounds, but then just the lead in terms of player advantage just right, slips away, but, conversion. but that's also because of heroic plays that you just see from Bang <laughs> just always turning around back into the favor of 100 Thieves. So this timeout for me is just to try to cool down 100 Thieves. We're going to have another Less of Muri's situation. 4K after 4K after 3K. Plan's still there for EG though, right? So it is. It is. We have to see how it comes to fruition for him. 2-3 split on this. They will get rid of mid pressure for now allow this to kind of be held by the turret up in the kitchen as they watch the extremities of the map. And it, it sounds smart. 100 Thieves hasn't really been trying to go mid. They've been focusing that firepower to the outside lanes, looking for the first kill, and then maybe getting the second one on the way to the site. Still no mid. So that gets left up. And the defense is right in their face this time. EG prepared with demons off. We got wall bang for a bit. Yeah. But that's the early sound and a warning shot. 100 Thieves knowing now that the Operator is out on the A side. Invested for EG into the Defender round. Yet still not afraid. Still creeping up towards the A orb. Waiting for correct timing as Here. Demon relocated into a different spot. To get an angle now towards the top of the pipes. Top of 410 as well. The smoke for where Demon's first op position might be. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's two instantly popped down. Reckoning to come out on the defense, courtesy of Giacomo. As Demon just got spotted, trying to run through the smoke. As Fang oh. gets hit by that, Demon finally gets the revenge. Back into the up, waited by Stellar on the top of the rafters. A wall plant also coming in for Asuna. No res available after that. Still after this plant, Giacomo at 2 HP. Action has quieted down for a bit. EG looking to move back towards this site. Walled again, space for EG behind a toxic screen. As a tap then comes in onto the spike. Trying to get the shots, trying to hear where the last two players are at. As unfortunately, Dragimo falls. Traded out by Calm. Asta looking onto the rope. rope. Onto the rope! But gets the kill a little bit too late. Oh. Not many times we see the rope do Austin the dirty there. This time it True. does True. not help him. The shot's just wide to the right. The defuse comes through for EG. And it goes it goes down to the wire there. We saw a lot of rounds for EG on the last map like that as well. They need a bit more space and cushion in these rounds with the members of EG staying alive here. But still, three HP. <laughs> a quick defuse there at the end. Does not let off. Pros don't fake holds it down two alts ready for each side it looks like they'll give a little push and pull at a as you see asana throwing utility but the focus is b nice try to step from cryo they wanted to go aggressive for 100 thieves already on the top of green demon to fall first lockdown available to push all of the b side away you should run and put down instantly Ethan looking for an opportunity at least to get some picks before he falls back, but this is going to be impossible for him to get away. So try to get one, try to get two before, and he's going to get none. All of EG falling after this. Even might be an early call for the last two players to save. Really neat way to play it out, too. This big wall in middle, and with the lockdown going down, they were able to basically stall out EG, trying to find their way through. Bustio had to stay outside the lockdown, but still, they had to work through wall. There were so many layers to clear just for get from A to B, instead of getting to site and then being able to use your utility. So nice little pacing throughout this round. I like the Viper wall mid, Omen smokes into B, and that little start by Asuna at A to keep some focus there with the slow. 100 Thieves has a lot 
that they put on EG's plate in the beginning of these rounds. That EG will, you know, I have a slow here. I, I'm not, well, the wall's in mid. Everybody almost has to stay to cover. And this frag right away puts that 5v4 conversion in the favor of 100 Thieves once again. Nice Alendron, nice support mm -hmm. coming out from Derek for that first blood coming out from Cryo Cells. If not, that would have been a different story. And story writes into an EG save. Yep. Small change that you saw too. 100 Thieves, when they wanted to work on that lockdown on that previous round, they still have a protocol to have somebody watch that flank. And it was yeah. Asta at that point who becomes Elite Lurk so that Stellar could support the rest of the team behind that lockdown. EG has to recognize this now into the later rounds of the half. Round number eight underway with a full eco round mm -hmm. for EG. Quite surprising, actually, on that previous one that the last two players didn't save their weapons. Right there. Yeah. You tend to wonder. This is just sticking as a team, though. Playing together, going for the fight, and seeing if they can actually wear down. away at 100 Thieves a bit, maybe. Same start to this round. Much slower, though. 100 Thieves. We saw Asuna throw the slow out, which would go for Alt Orb. Giving EG the same look. They recover it, though. So... Pretty forward play, Com one off of ultimate, Bustio has one. So if they do find some frags here, Vansili, it could be a likely alt, but that's not the case. Yeah, Five on B and four towards A with a quick lurk here. We'll see if Bang can do anything on the uh, the come around from EG. When he's waiting. Left. Oh, and a charge all of in. them. All of them indeed. <laughs> Snake bite on the ground, splitting out the aggressive push coming out from EG. Roll a lot of vulnerability from the snake bites on the ground. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a quick flick there. Tom looking to pick up that weapon. Wall banged by Asuna. Yeah. Another one for 100 Thieves. Not the Ecos for EG really aren't even denting. I don't know if they even took a, a classic shot there. I know Bang went down a bit, but still took down three himself, so pays for any of the damage that he takes with those. And the rest of the team fist bumps as they end it. Nine on, uh, round nine coming in. And we see those few rounds for Evil Geniuses were defused. So it's not like it's the frags. They're not stopping 100 Thieves dead in their track. Here, they are trying to set that up, though. Demon again forward. It's been good to see him taking initiative in some of these situations. You need the new player to step Ooh. out, step into the light. Aldrone is going to spot Did teammate, so he's going to have to fall back. Meanwhile, Jogimo was down to almost nothing, thankfully. Has a heal coming out from Ethan. And now we're going to walk into the thick of it. Viper's pit out on a defense. Calm! <laughs> Was being pinched by two angles in the garage, and that's pinch, yeah. that pinch is going to come down. Cryocell's already made it across towards yellow. Shadows while all of that creep up towards B main ensued. We're going to get the wall. <laughs> A wall planned attempt, but at least get the pit down bit first. One enemy remaining. And the, the retake. Asuna is just looking for the fights. Not gonna happen. It's gonna be impossible. Yeah. Falling away here from the range. Buzu gets the kill. EG answers right back. <laughs> Deja vu. We're gonna come back for a 6 6. EG is about to get that comeback here as they start to figure out this composition, how it works. A nice uh, hold onto the site. EG's been giving up a little too much ground, I think, in, in a situation where you would probably see Bang just being able to get that ult off yeah. because they were waiting. They were still checking mid, and EG was waiting for the entire team. But there again, taking a bit of an initiative. Bang goes down during the ultimate, and it just starts to fall apart for 100 Thieves. So EG activating a little bit more. This mid take that they're doing, or sorry, A take towards pipes that they're doing here with Ethan and Demon each round, I think has been giving them a, a good amount of information to then consider what the rest of the map may need. Here, they might even get a push on long B to start off too. Deploying drone. Enemy mark. 100 Thieves slowly working the mid again, though. Spikes down, so this is going to be uh, give EG a different look. See what they can figure out who's playing Toxic where and maybe avoid down. the Killjoy utility at all. If anything, is definitely 100 Thieves showing a different look. That lurk up towards that kitchen. Mm -hmm. Trailblazer are out to put Dragimo into a forward position under but a two as he gets denied there by Cryo. So all the rotates you're trying to do, now you have double lurks going across. Bang has a great position inside Kitchen and all of EG once again. 
That's giving up the sights on the B site. That's two rounds now we've seen Calm kind of take a shot from the side when he's just getting taken back and forth. Yeah. We almost saw it on Haven too when he was watching towards short. It seems like the the tiptoes of Hundred Thieves are just inside, not inside the head of Calm, I should say. One more for our Demon. Maybe get this Blade Storm to connect with a few heads. And they are, they are searching right now. You see on the other side of the map, Cryo is on a hunt, but he will be at the site. Derek's going to drop that 7 to 3. 100 uh, Thieves quickly stave off what would have been that comeback from last round. It's, it's those any situation plays, right? That's the 1v1 that's played off of audio. It's kind of the flick of the shot. And then once 100 Thieves have that upper hand, they. They're just able to garrison the right angles, and EG has no entry unless they're all together using that utility. It does not seem like they have time to set it up. Operator. Exactly. Down towards mid this time. So no more of the pipes trying to push up, but right. at least for EG, it's no the same way. utility on the other end. What? What the hell? Hell? Utility by Ethan still dodges all of the Hunter's fury. Finally, as he gets picked off, picked off, Hunter Thieves put the early res up as they're charging towards the site. Calm this time playing towards a save by a high tide after his toxic screen comes down. Allowing for EG to rotate towards the back. Even enough on a four versus four. No ops available for either of these teams. It's gonna come down to the trade possibilities. Oh my gosh. Rob's favoring on to Hunter Thieves as Bang! Somehow he's playing this control like a duelist. A hard retake to do. An off in the hands of Demon One. But it's still 100 Thieves, just too strong on the forward spots of the ace site. That in the half. is really cool to see plays like that when you play the aggressive res. Knowing that somebody's going to go down, you get the battle res in, in the middle of the fight as well. Well, the he Hunter's Fury is coming in for distraction, so they're throwing that up the gut of the defensive squad. And then you have Bang doing things like this because him and Asuna spend time on the jungle gym together. But it's absolutely ridiculous what these guys do inside that A side of Icebox. And they're doing it again here, stringing a few more rounds together, and it looks like it's going to be a tech pause to come out on this one. A little breather, not too much chatting from the players, though, but a mental reset can come in. Definitely a mental reset that uh, maybe could be needed at this point. I think if we're going to try to look at these, the amount of first bloods that EG are at least able to get on the defense already gets turned around, turned over by 100 mm -hmm. Thieves on, the, on how they react on what's coming up next. Once you get the early trade off on the player advantage that comes out from EG, the floodgates are open. Yeah. And EG is just a little bit too far on these on these retakes. Maybe that's the game plan going to 100 Thieves. When you're looking at the earlier rounds, you know, a lot of pressures put on the shoulders of Demon One trying to anchor alone. Right. And then with a little support from Ethan here and there, but 100 Thieves, as soon as they find out, okay, well, we dashed one away. Let's kill Ethan. Now there's nobody left into the site. We could win a three versus one there. Yeah. I feel like a, this utility that they bring to the composition, having that, that Sage, being able to just get the plants down. There's many, I feel like, I would say faults or errors, but if they make a mistake on the take, they have so much more. You yeah. have the double smokes to come in. You then, oh, okay, well, we can still wall. There's just so many possibilities, even if EG has an answer for one of them. I think that's also one of the biggest ones, as we're saying. Actually, yeah, you bring up a great point, and it's formulated differently in a sense where cryo cells is one of those smokers that dies first but there's always the other yeah, one the yeah, wall that comes exactly. in after with the support that you have from bang and speaking of bang that guy oh my he's word he's already 18 and 6. doubling the next person scores <laughs> you see stellars look like he's been fragging too but no bang absolutely locked and loaded this game focused off towards the right side last round of the first half was gonna is it was for that tam timeout or tech pause, I should say. So it could be a good time, like we said, to reset that mental. No operators onto this round, and it is a low buy. So it's trying to gain the advantage of position. Evil geniuses move up, but instantly deny. It's the answer hit there. They get it. You expect the drone, but still, nobody even peeks before that. So initial strategy set up on defense is foiled. What's next? What's the audible? The mid-round call from the defense has to be just as good as the one from the offense, right, Vance? Hasn't been that case since. 100 Thieves here now into B again. 
Derek, those two shock darts were crucial. First one to stop the push on Amin, the second one to stop the nano swarm from blooming, allowing this wall plant to happen. Seeker's already coming in on is. the defense as we have the low buy in the last round of the half for EG. Stingers and Guardians. Forward moving is gonna be Demon. But it's long range with the Guardian stopped by a toxic screen, Poison Orb to allow EG to flood open towards yellow. So get a couple of trades, it's at halfway. A push coming in, the rotation so late for Kong. 3v1. He was looking for that lurk, and unfortunately nobody's there lurk this time around for EG. And it's Stellar coming in for the kill from yellow. And 100 Thieves now put 9 onto the board. What a strong first half. EG's definitely gonna have their work cut out for them. I have to see what the desk has to say about this. How you feeling about You're Demon and the geniuses? All right, so 9-3, and as it stands right now for Evil Geniuses, they're going to have to hope for some magic because right now it has been quite problematic for them. I feel like 100 Thieves, Mimi, they're really starting to just find themselves even more so in game one, which is awesome. Yeah, 100 Thieves is looking really good right now. And on the other side for EG, it feels like the coordination is really starting to struggle, Wyatt. Yeah, absolutely. And it honestly, it doesn't even really feel like it has... Watch or anything to do with like the 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 swap with bringing Demon mm. One in. It's sure. just the game plan as a whole. You can see in a round like this where Hundred Thieves are scaling up into this B site. It was early on in this round that uh, Demon One had presence in B main, went down with a weird TP play. Ethan just taking this fight alone, uh, and then Calm taking a fight alone near Snowman. Just not really setting up any crossfires, not swinging off each other. There's just no timings. There's there. no information. It's like... just we're taking fights, and on the opposing side, 100 Thieves are just playing fundamentally really well. So Yeah, and, and I think a lot of it is just like kind of like almost panic for EG. They lose an initial player in the initial idea, and then they kind of go for some of these individual plays. And 100 Thieves is just playing really well to punish that. But the big guy to talk about in this one is Demon One, who's actually subbing out the big guy in this game. Um, he <laughs> I think was actually playing fairly solid in a lot of these rounds they were setting him up to go for these early fights to take uh, these duels and that's kind of how you generally are playing with this Harbor Viper composition you can set your jet up for an early fight then you're playing retake but so often this team is still kind of getting caught in transition where they go for one of these kind of opening setups and then either it doesn't work out and Demon dies or he doesn't quite get away after getting one and then their retakes end up into these ways where they're like funneling in one at a time and to me it didn't feel like they were applying to their composition strength on that defensive side Sure. which is something that even in EG's failures, I feel like generally they're pretty solid at like having that idea of how they want to play the comp. Yeah, and honestly, with how 100 uh, Thieves retakes are with Omen, it's just way too good on this defense. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be quite fascinating to see how this plays out. Can EG manage to dig themselves, or rather, dig themselves out of the hole that they have found themselves in, or will 100 Thieves close it out? Let's go ahead and send it right back over to Rivington and Ben Silly. Definitely a great opportunity for EG to bring that comeback if they can, because they do have a 9-3 scoreline in favor of 100 Thieves. Yeah. How can you get around all these one ways that are gonna be thrown by Cryo Cells? Yes, definitely an agent that, you know, could really put stick in the wheels of how you're gonna try to scale up for EG. <laughs> Don't put a stick in the wheels. That doesn't feel good. I, I, I think EG's conversions have to be better. They find seven first bloods of the last half exactly. to, to 100 Thieves five. So 100 Thieves finding the Ws. And a push up already. Avoiding the high tide, avoiding the cascade, and it's EG now storming in. Shock darts to retaliate from the site. And a 3v3 early into this round. From when we we're leading towards how EG was playing towards that first half, is trying to initiate Demon a lot with Ethan. And those that are two first players that fall. So the plan is still there on the attack to really, really allow. The right demon move in. How far do you go, Com? <laughs> the hard lurk. I mean, they have so much time. One minute seems like the world if, if you have it left in a round. So they do Thompson's put a little up. bit of the utility towards A. This is when Com would be hearing the rotation. But it's silence from Bang until he sees it. They play con or connection. That's oh, my done. word. Okay, that was nice, though. A tap on the ghost. Low HP, trying to clear out towards green just in case. Would initiate a 
safe plant. But Stellar's waiting on the top. One enemy remaining. Now it's up to that one versus standing. one. Jogimo, a change of rule from a duelist into this controller play. Bang being Stellar onto the controller play as well. Both are low. Tap onto the spike. Wow. Bang on the boxes. And Hunter Thieves put another pistol in. Against the ghost, too. That's the tough one. You definitely don't want to give him a, a straight angle on the swing peak. So it's the hop up onto the box. A good call by Bang. And he continues to have an amazing game. This initial fight between both teams handled well. Really well on both sides. We saw two players head off for the flank. And then it just mattered to what came down in sight. Classic <laughs> Bang. Taking that win for the squad. And they start off strong. That is spells trouble for EG. They're going to go ahead and try to get a buy-in here eventually. Keep up the great work, Bang. That little smirk off that 1v1. <laughs> Continuing the amount of kills that he's getting on this map. Water rising. EG's trying EG, to move quick. Off a of plant, stinger by. Of course, one of the rare sites that we see this year for the VCGs. And 100 Thieves ready to play the retake. Spammed right through, coming in from Asuna right off the bat there. Plant's gonna actually be a forward one, so they're ready to defend this, much like a sage plant, but I don't think it's a wall. Nope. And that's it. Putting that orb up on the top of the A tower, trying to sell a fake that it plants above. But bang! Holy! And Cryo are already ready to fight back. Long range on that pulse plant, still in favor of EG. Derek hit by the alarm bot, now vulnerable. But it's just too much for him to handle. EG calm, getting the last kill. And they answer back. They answer back hard. That was a huge round for Evil Geniuses. To be able to snuff out 100 Thieves just a few away from the win. And that's the biggest one, too. That's the mental thrifty. Not even really thrifty because they bought in, but that's the mental win on the second round of the second half here. Really nicely played. It seemed a bit more fearless, fearless than they, they've been bringing to the table. And that kind of bolstered them a little bit for that side take. Pushing through, scaling together. And they really didn't worry about the flank until the post plant happened. Now they're playing even faster. No, I'm just kidding. They're in spawn. Just hanging out for this round to see if 100 Thieves come out with anything wild. And they have sent four towards the pipes. There's a shot. And playing far back. Because EG knows 100 Thieves are on an eco. Four players pushing forward, but... Boosie only spotted two. All of EG for the rest of that still holding towards... Mid, watching the B pushes, pinging to make sure that we're clearing all of the angles. And Hunter Thieves are actually gambling to rotate all their players towards the B site, leaving only Derek alone at A. Still in spawn. Just hanging out. What do they want from 100 Thieves? Uh, I feel like 100 Thieves did this to EG on one of the rounds, right? When 100 Thieves... We're ready for EG to come in with Sheriff. They sat mid, they waited for EG to pick, they pulled him out of the woodwork. Yeah, it's not happening this time though. Ethan threw a flash towards the A site. And with that call in the audible that it blinded some players, mm. they're guessing that the stack's towards A this time. So everybody leading towards B, wall to come up. 30 seconds left. And Seller's here. He's done it before. Sheriff in hand, double wall. Got to run inside this cove if we're trying to go for a plant. Decides to fall back instead. Pushed away by a snake bite. Plant will go down as players are also falling from under thieves. Oh my gosh. So you don't get to stare at anything. They completely make the sight there as Bustio comes up with another Marshall shot. Operator or Marshall, you got to watch out when he's looking down the scope. You definitely want them. He's only one away from a lockdown. Yeah. And that's going to be an important ultimate to be used, which he's going to get now into the next. As EG Cover still needs out. to bring this comeback on Icebox. Last player standing. One, and now it's just Cryo looking to get closer. Only gets close to calm on that one. Five away from the tie. 100 Ds. About to get that arsenal back and ready. That lockdown you called is going to be absolutely huge here for EG. I almost think they play it uh, on a, a fake if they could. And start making 100 Thieves realize that there's more than just these single hits they're seeing from Evil Geniuses. We really haven't gotten a fake yet. They're not using too much misdirection. So I think it's easier in that sense for 100 Thieves to predict what they're going to be see, uh, seeing in the, in the play. Use that. Just watch for the flank. Towards A. Shadows uh, sorry, towards B. The Cascade's going to go forward and block the left side. So we can work right with Demon. 
Trailblazer behind to clear out everything you and there's that run. lockdown that's gonna come in. Meanwhile, Calm was the one that's watching that flank on the A site. And he's now gonna become the lurk. As Claris from Hunter Thieves forced to fall back towards Snowmen. We're gonna get a cold plant at the default spot. Asna going with the sprays. Mad just to land one onto Demon. As Dragomo's just stuck here. So tough. Just behind the Nano Storm now slowed down by Slow Orbs too. And fighting back, Ethan and Jogimo oh. with the Bulldogs. The flank out from Calm not working out. Ethan picking up a Vandal. Wall plan up, trying to break the wall. The line up on two, but only gets one. 100 Thieves, they're now up at 11. And that lockdown that was supposed to give a lot of space here for EG. Yeah. Suffocates in the end. I think the plant went down maybe a little too slow in that instance. Great play, great sight take. But getting back out of position was so tough, right? Jogamo did get a kill, was forced to go forward, but they weren't setting up the post plant they wanted. Jogamo was instantly slowed. Yuto was coming in to find out yellow and prevent the rest of evil geniuses from protecting the escape or setting up the post plant. So 100 Thieves really just making it a mess for EG. Once they do get in, they, are, they have a plan to just absolutely sort out where eg is and take them out one by one evil genius is calling the timeout here as we are getting closer and closer for 100 thieves to capitalize on this second w yeah and from that play didn't really indicate to me that they were trying to do uh the pulse plant lineup plays because right. Tom was watching that lurk or watching that flank but he's not moving towards the b main for the snake bite poison orb so this just indicates to me like the small changes that evil geniuses are trying to do into this week is just try to fight back when they have that opportunity to have a player such as demon one and jogimo on a different role to just really try to answer back fight for fight but it's always hundred thieves on the board in yeah. all of these duels it is i mean even the the fracture pictures is is great at the segment or uh plays were as a uh, gb was being served dinner like the post plants was even if wingman got it down the post plants oh, yeah, yeah, weren't yeah, working yeah. it wasn't happening i got there believe me it was, my brain wasn't working i was thinking <laughs> i was thinking about the food more than the place god it looks so good that grilled well that's uh, the thing fromage under these are are hungry for that win and they're yeah. really one-sided so far on this map of ice box keep up all right 11 to 5. No real push. A slight pipes play coming from 100 Thieves on that defensive side, but it's going to be the focus on EG. Playing a 3 1 1 here. Beautiful stop by Bustio. That's going to start to sort out the map a little bit. And it, oh, things like that is what EG just needed to start doing. Does it work? Reckoning into the site, but that Hunter's Fury actually pinged two players. Nano Swarm to delay Ouch. even more, and that's even going to nullify the reckoning from coming out. 100 Thieves are already looking for a fight. And Calm has to look for a big play. Once again, on an attempt of a lurk. 1v1 versus Cells, and he loses it. Three more to stand up. Four EG on his post plan as Ethan gets smothered by a paranoia. Last Utility's just too standing. good for 100 Thieves. See, getting caught scaling into the site again. 100 Thieves pops out of the world work. They find Ethan trying to rotate forward. A few underneath. Jogamo couldn't get that trade. It looks so tough how 100 Thieves is collapsing on these plays match so damn point. quick. We're on to match point now. We get this buy in here for both sides. It looks like it's going to be pretty decent. We do see a stinger in for EG, but man, 100 Thieves are playing with so much confidence right now and being able to answer what EG is doing. I, it is hard, I, I, I see, for them to come up with a different play, a different strat. It seems like the book has been used so far. Activate Demon 1, Blade Storm, last chance for EG. Map and series point for 100 Thieves. Lots of ults for the retake. Available 400 Thieves. Most important one being that lockdown. Mm -hmm. Also an opportunity to play aggressive if you want to, because you have that res available. And all four players of 100 Thieves are playing towards the A site, leaving a solo anchor from Stellar on B. Blade Storm not activated, ready. unfortunately. First blood, 400 Thieves. So a bit of the same of last round for EG here. We had the three at B, one and one in mid. This time it was a three at A with one B. And we just saw Demon go down mid, but that that's around they say, hey Demon, let's see, get up there, make it happen. But here in the Blade Storm, 100 Thieves is gonna be so ready to see that coming out on one of the high extremities of the map. 
two up top here for 100 Thieves. That's that's really cheeky, too, because Derek drops, and you're not expecting Asuna. It's just the mind games they're playing Shadows right now. Traveling. I need here walking right into that trap. Nice entry, though, by Ethan. Big flash, <laughs> even dropping bold players. 15 on each, too. A great job done here by the initiator. Com just looking for the plant. He's going to get it at least. Big sacrifice right now, but we talked about the retake of capabilities off the lockdown, off the res. Oh my gosh. That's going to be Cryo back out as well. And all they want to do here is just push that space back. There's no opportunity to break that lockdown. And it's looking grim. Nana Swarm available for Busio for a pulse find if he wants to, and they both fall. 100 Thieves comes in for the defuse. A convincing second map win for the Thieves. Yeah. As they win this series 2 to 0 and put their first win in the VCT Americas. That W in the books. Huge play all around. Stellar bang. The rest of the crew feeling great. We saw Derek as well on that first map. Cryo being cryo.